So today I am going to be doing a what's in my bag video, school bag edition, and I have been highly requested to do this video for a while and I just have never like got around to it and honestly the stuff in my school bag is super boring, at least in my opinion. I'm not like, I don't not like the type of person that has like cool stuff that they keep in their backpack. I really wanted to see this so I thought that I would film it for you. I a lot of questions about where, like, where I am in school. I'm a senior in high school. Some people think that I'm in college and some people think that I'm 11 years old. So yeah, if that answers your question, I am 18 years old and I am a senior in high school. Kind of random, but anyways. This is my backpack. It is a navy blue L.L. Bean. I have no idea the specific name of what type of L.L. Bean backpack this is. But it says KBP up here, which is my monogram. And part of the reason why I got this specific backpack was because A, it was navy blue, and I really wanted a navy blue backpack because I like darker colored backpacks because they hide like stains and dirty dirtiness better and then the second reason was that I really wanted to have a monogrammed backpack and L.L. Bean was like the only place I knew at the time that uh, monogrammed backpack and I got this when I was a sophomore in high school. So I've had this backpack for most of high school and it has held up tremendously which I'm so happy. I would highly recommend this. A lot of people think that it's super ugly and not cute or, or it looks like a boy backpack or like a little kid backpack but I really really love it and I like I'm obsessed with this backpack and probably will like never use another one unless I have to. So on my backpack I love to do keychains and I wasn't a big keychain person um, until I got this backpack and then I just started like putting keychains on it so love keychains I think it's a really fun way to jazz up your backpack. So first I have um, on the bottom here I have my Bean Boot keychain, which everybody knows, I'm literally obsessed with these. I have Bean Boots, and then I also have an LL Bean store where I live, and they sell these Bean Boot keychains. I get a lot of questions about where to buy these. I think they're only sold at LL Bean stores. I would love to do a giveaway if you guys would want me to give some of these away to you if you guys can't get them. I would love to do that because I know that they're super hard to find. I have my Bean Boot keychain on here and I've had this on here for a while. And then I have a K. Sorry you guys. I have a red K that's like sewn like that. And then I have my Sinco Powell um, keychain and if you can see here it is a tassel which is really awesome it's a navy blue tassel and monogrammed G and obviously not because I'm a gangster for glamour and glamour Kate yes I think it looks really cute hanging on the backpack and I think it also makes my backpack look really classy and just I don't know it just gives it like more of a special touch I guess love um, the Cinco Pal keychain and I think that the tassel is super nice and just like a Really just nice detail and also I love it with the tag. I think that's really awesome and I will be talking a little bit more about Single Powell at the end of the video so if you want to stay tuned for that. So in the front pocket of my backpack I have just stuff that I have like easier access to that I need to grab quickly and what happens to be in here is just like my phone. Um, so this is my phone I just keep in there and then I have a bunch of like pens and pencils that I aren't in my pencil case that I probably just used recently. I have a lipstick in here for some reason. I have my SD card I think. Yeah I have an SD card in here because I am in photography class so I have my SD card that I take to school and stuff. Then I don't use the other pockets. Um, I don't use the smaller one and the next like bigger smaller one but I use the main pocket and first I just have Two folders and my school goes by um, different colored block scheduling so we have like an even day and an odd day and so I do two different types of folders for it. I have an even and odd day folder and that's how I like organize my stuff I don't like doing binders because binders is just like a lot of work to me just like being able to just pull out a folder really fast and be able just to put my papers in it and then be on the go instead of like worrying about stuff being hole punched and yada yada yada. The thing I keep in my backpack are notebooks and I like doing 
the more fun, brightly colored pattern ones for the most, like the classes that I hate the most, just to make it more fun, obviously. This is math, uh, you know, obvi, we gotta have the brightly colored one for math, and then this is um, science, which I'm also not a big fan of, but I have pink, because um, it's one of the prettiest notebooks that I have, and I just use that for those classes because I had those classes today. I have my photography journal which is a thing that we have to have for my um, AP photo class and I just keep a bunch of like, I don't know, I like do random stuff in here. It's like a place to write your inspiration or just like brainstorming ideas and stuff like that in there. So I have that. I also keep my Lily Pulitzer agenda in my school bag at all times and I am obsessed, obsessed with these as you guys know. Um, I use it all the time and I love writing down my assignments in this and it's super bright and colorful which is always lovely. I have my calculator which is boring and I really want to decorate it like the front of it but I have no idea what I would decorate it. I have my pencil case and this is just a old Clinique cosmetic bag and I crap up my pencil cases like nobody's business, like a pen will explode or a highlighter will explode and then the whole thing just gets really dirty so I just like using, you know, stuff that I find at home, like little bags that I can find at home and this one actually like looks like a pencil case so I was like, hey, it's perfect. Just keep all of my colored pens, like hair ties highlighters, mechanical pencils, stuff like that. Everything is kept in here. And last, I just have my wallet in here because um, sometimes I'll go after school, I will go somewhere like Starbucks, I need my money to get my coffee. So that is everything that I keep in my school bag. I know that it wasn't like super exciting and not like I'd have like a bunch of monogram stuff. I feel like I'm just like a preppy failure when it comes to like monogramming my school supplies. The Cinco Pal sent me that keychain that you saw on my backpack with the tassel and the tag. And I also wanted to show you two other things that they sent me because I think they are really awesome um, gift ideas. I know that the holiday season is almost upon us and I am obsessed with giving people monogram stuff. This is one of their necklaces on their chain and it's also a tag. It's a, the same tag that you could put on a keychain but you can also wear it as a necklace and it's kind of a shorter necklace like this and then you wear it like that and it's just a shorter necklace like that and then it has my three letter monogram on the front. I don't know if you guys can see. It says KPB on it and I think that is so cute and these tags are super high quality and I think that they just look really nice. The other thing that they sent that I think is more practical to wear on a daily basis, it is this very small one letter monogram and I know that it's super small to see, um, but it just has one letter and then it has a color around it on the same type of like material that the tags are made out of on this longer chain. I think that it is a really cute gifts to give someone and they come in these really cute dust bags like this. I would definitely check out Cinco Pal if you are looking for some monogram keychains or monogrammed necklaces to look at because I think they have a really good selection. I think that their products are very unique so I would definitely go check them out if you're interested. So I think that is about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!